Hammer Bowling. Nothing hits like a hammer. Today we'll take a detailed look at the features of our new infection ball, as well as a look at the versatility of this new product from Hammer Bowling. Infection starts with our successful biohazard core, previously used in the plague. This medium RG, high differential core shape provides a wide range of motion, from an angular skid flip motion to a smooth arcing pattern. Hammer's new Level 3 Reactive takes the strong suits of our Level 2 Reactive from the plague and increases the downlane responsiveness to the friction. We've increased the texture and depth in the cover stock structure without sacrificing length and angularity. On the infection, we've actually increased the dry lane response by sanding the ball with 4000 grit Aberlon pads. The infection goes through our standard 4000 grit process using 800, 1000, 2000, and 4000 grit Aberlon pads. This surface, combined with the increased texture in the level 3 cover stock, gives the ball a cleaner front lane read with a quicker response down lane. You'll see that the overall hook rating of the infection is similar to the plague, with a different combination of finish and cover stock. Infection gives the bowler a very complementary motion to the plague, and lets the bowler go from one to the other with ease. Infection is Hammer's second ball using our HD color technology, designed to bring brighter, more vivid, and sharper looking products to the bowling market. The infection uses a combination of emerald green pearl, blue pearl, and solid black. All of this gives infection a stronger back end read on fresh lane patterns and better overall usability as the lane pattern breaks down. The plague is still a great motion for heavier oil patterns where mid lane roll is needed. The infection is the ball to go to when the plague won't push through the heads or labors down lane with carry down. Let's take a look at the hammer staff team with the infection on Kegel's middle of the road lane pattern. This is Ken Mann's infection ball. It's drilled with a three and a quarter inch pin, a 25 degree angle to the mass bias, and a two inch pin to VAL distance. With this layout, she'll see a lot of length and good back end movement. This is Sean Lee's infection ball. It's drilled very strong for him. It's a 5 inch pin to his positive axis point with a 45 degree angle to the mass bias. A 3 inch distance from the pin to VAL will give this ball a strong overall hook and a lot of continuation through the pin deck. Shot. You know, you know it was really neat to watch there. You know, obviously for you, uh, with your style of play, you want something to make sure it picks up and it keeps going. Absolutely. It was very apparent that the plague uh, does that much earlier than the infection. The infection right. reads the spot much harder down lane. Right. You know, what I would like to see now. I wonder what happens if you begin to move in with that infection a little bit and see if we can still get that ball to come around the corner. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Basically, now because you've moved in and created a little more launch angle, that right. ball can really read the spot that much harder right. and is much more continuous down lane.
This is Jeremy's infection ball. Again, the pinup drilling above the bridge with a five inch distance to his positive axis point. A 45 degree angle to the mass bias will create a strong mid lane move with a two and three quarter inch pin to his VAL. We should see a lot of down lane movement and very good control out of this layout for his style. you make there? Made a four and two. Four and two. Makes sense. Once again, you've got balls that create a lot of angle down lane. They're going to allow you to be able to move in deeper, get it to the spot, and watch it come right back to the pocket. Absolutely. I'm, I actually have this ball three, two to three more stronger overall than, than the play. Makes sense. Especially, you know, a lot of that motion that you're seeing is down lane. Oh, absolutely. Which a player like you who likes to get in and wheel it, that's where you want it to be at. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. This is Robert's infection ball, drilled very strong and very aggressive. Here you see a 3 and 3 eighths pin distance to his positive axis point, combined with a 65 degree layout to the mass bias. It's also 3 and 3 eighths from the VAL to his pin, so this is an extremely strong layout for Robert. You'll see a lot of mid lane and good continuous motion down lane. This is Les Man's infection ball, and what you're about to see on the video is explained by the ball layout. A 4 and 7 8 inch pin distance to his positive axis point, and a 50 degree angle through the mass bias, with a 2 and a quarter inch pin to VAL distance. Les gets a lot of strong angularity at the break point from this infection ball.
Sean, now that we've seen all of the staff players throw the new infection ball out here on the lane with this Kegel middle of the road lane pattern, what do you see with the new ball versus the plague from a couple months ago? Well, Jeff, it's obvious that with the infection, you've got a great ball here. In fact, you've got a great one-two combination. You know, looking at the plague, that ball is very mid lane, very continuous, greater on the heavy patterns. You know, looking at that infection, you've got a ball that's longer, more angular. When those patterns begin to dry up, or you're on a pattern that's got a lot of back end, you can move in and wheel that ball. I mean, it was neat to watch Robert. He made that four and two move in, and all of a sudden that ball came alive. Yeah, and you could really see it with the guys that hit the ball a little bit more. They could square up to the pattern, still get a lot of reaction down lane, but they could really move in and open it up as well. Whereas the plague would burn up a little bit when they would go away from their pocket too much, the infection ball really retains the energy down lane and moves through the back end. Agreed 100%. I think it's going to be a great ball for the league bowler and the guy who wants to bowl a tournament condition because you've got a really good combination with both of those balls. Yeah, and they look really good too at 4,000 grit. These balls come in a new HD color process with an emerald green pearl, a blue pearl, and a black. It's a different kind of pigment, a different load of pigment than we've been using in the past, and these HD colors look really good on the new product. Yeah, I think you're going to get a lot of pop off the shelf. I mean, when you see that ball, it's like, wow, it really stands out. Definitely. Great. Check this one out from Hammer Bowling. Check Hammer out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and on HammerBowling.com. And remember, nothing hits like a hammer.